Hello and welcome to my channel Pharmacy in Depth where we will talk about pharmacy related topics in detail. Today we will study about quality control tests of tablets. So let's start the video. First let's see what is quality control and why it is required. So quality control is a part of quality assurance which is concerned with sampling, testing, documentation during and after completion of manufacturing. It ensures that the product meets the quality standard limits which are also reproducible. It also checks whether the tablet satisfies certain standards to claim it to be the quality drug or not. There are two types of QC tests for tablets, unofficial tests like organoleptic test, thickness test, friability and hardness and official tests that means they are mentioned in some pharmacopoeia like USP, IP or BP. The tests are weight variation, drug content, content uniformity, disintegration test and dissolution test. First let's study the unofficial tests. The first test is organoleptic test. So color in tablet is used for rapid identification and customer acceptance. So the color should be uniformly distributed within the tablet and there should be no sign of modeling which is the non-uniformity of color. The presence of odor from a batch of tablet could be an indicative of the instability in the tablets. So there should be no odor from the tablets. Taste is important for customer acceptance, especially in case of chewable tablets. The second test is the thickness of the tablet. It can be measured by a micrometer by placing the tablet diametrically between the anvil and the spindle. The thickness is measured in millimeters or it can be measured by using a vernier calipers where the tablet is placed diametrically between the jaws of the vernier caliper and thickness is measured in centimeters. The thickness of the tablet should be within plus and minus 5% of the value. Controlled thickness leads to better customer acceptance and facilitates packaging and the factor affecting thickness are particle size distribution and the compression force. Third test is friability. The purpose of this test is to evaluate the ability of tablet to withstand breakage during transportation and handling. It determines the physical strength of the tablet upon exposure of mechanical stress and attrition. Friability is done by using Roche Friabilator. For this, initial weight of 20 tablets is measured which are rotated in this Friabilator for 4 minutes at an RPM of 25. After 4 minutes, these tablets are dusted and final weight of the tablets is measured. And to pass this test, percentage reduction in weight should not be more than 1%. And the fourth test is hardness, which is also known as the crushing strength test. It is the force required to break a tablet in a diametric compression force. Hardness is required to withstand shock during manufacturing, packaging and shipping. The factors affecting hardness are binder concentration, moisture content and the compression force. Different types of hardness testers are Monsanto, Pfizer, Arveca, Schlenegger and Strongkop hardness tester. Hardness should be 5 to 8 kgs per centimeter square for standard compressed tablets except effervescent, dispersible, orodispersible and chewable tablets and should be more than 8 to 12 kgs per centimeter square for sustained release and controlled release tablets. Now let's study the official tests. The first test is the weight variation test. So according to USP, 20 tablets are weighed individually and their average weight is calculated. Then each weight is compared with the average weight and percent weight variation is calculated. The percent weight variation allowed is plus minus 10% if the tablet weight is 130 mg or less in USP and 84 mg or less in case of BP or IP. It is plus minus 7.5% if the tablet weight is 130 mg to 324 mg in USP and 84 mg to 250 mg in BP or IP and plus minus 5% if the tablet weight is more than 325 mg in USP and more than 250 mg in case of BP or IP. The second test is the drug content test. For this 20 tablets are randomly taken, crushed in a mortar pestle and amount equivalent to the theoretical content of each tablet is taken and dissolved in a solvent which is given in the monograph in which the drug is freely soluble. The solution is filtered and assayed by using HPLC or UV. The drug content should be 
प्लस माइनस फिफ्टीन परसेंट टेन परसेंट और फाइव परसेंट द लिमिट ऑफ विच आर गिविन इन इंडिविजुअल ड्रग मोनोग्राफ्स द थर्ड टेस्ट इज द कंटेंट यूनिफॉर्मिटी टेस्ट फॉर दिस थर्टी टेबलेट आर टेकन एंड टेन टेबलेट आउट ऑफ इट आर एसेड इंडिविजुअली द टेस्ट इज पास when 9 out of 10 tablets are in the limit of plus minus 15% and the 10th tablet is in the limit of plus minus 25% of the labeled content if the results are out of limit then remaining 20 tablets are taken and assayed individually and none of the 30 tablets should contain drug not less than 85% and not more than 115% of the labeled content fourth test is the disintegration test So disintegration time is the time required to break the tablet into small particles under the influence of a disintegrating fluid which may be a simulated gastric fluid or a simulated intestinal fluid the small particles should pass through 10 mesh screen the disintegration apparatus consists of a basket rack holding six plastic tubes open at the top and the bottom the bottom of these tubes is covered with 10 mesh screen The basket rack is immersed in a bath of suitable liquid held at 37 degrees preferably in 1 liter beaker. The rack moves up and down in the fluid at a specific rate. The disintegration time of different types of tablets listed in different types of monographs is tabulated here. It should be noted that disintegration test is not done in case of sublingual tablets, buccal tablets, chewable tablets, sustained release tablets and controlled release tablets. Fifth test is the dissolution test. So a tablet disintegrates into coarser particles and then fine particles which is measured by the disintegration test. As it moves in the gastric and intestinal fluids it gets starts dissolving which is measured by the dissolution test. After the drug is in the solution form it is available for absorption by the biological membrane and gets absorbed by the blood vessels. So dissolution is a process by which a solid enters into a solution. Dissolution rate is the amount of drug that goes into a solution per unit time under standard condition of temperature and pressure. This makes dissolution a very important parameter of all the QC tests and is used for predicting the bioavailability of the drug. Sometimes replacing clinical trials by giving the bioequivalent studies. Different types of dissolution apparatuses are USP apparatus 1 rotating basket, USP apparatus 2 rotating paddle, USP apparatus 3 reciprocating cylinder and this is how the cylinders look in actual. USP apparatus 4 flow through cell. USP apparatus 5 paddle over disc. USP apparatus 6 rotating cylinder. and usp apparatus 7 reciprocating discs these different types of dissolution test apparatuses are used depending upon the dosage form and the physico chemical property of the drug acceptance criteria of dissolution test is such that in stage 1 six tablets are tested and each unit is not less than q plus 5% where q is the percentage of drug dissolved if that fails additional six tablets are tested and average of 12 tablets is equal to or greater than q and no unit is less than q minus 15% If that also fails then 12 additional tablets are taken and the average of 24 units is equal to or greater than the percentage of drug dissolved and not more than 2 units are less than q minus 15 and no unit shall be less than q minus 25%. So guys this was all about QC tests of tablets. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you liked it and if you did like it, share it and subscribe to my channel.